What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tris Ramon, and we back with another video for y'all, man. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome, man. The channel is all about, first and foremost, good vibes, but also NBA 2K tips, tricks, gameplay, vlogs, and anything related to basketball culture. Now, in today's banger, we got how to wrap up the easiest and fastest way in NBA 2K's Court Conquer event, specifically the 2v2s. So we're not finna waste no more time, man. Go ahead and support the channel. It's easy and it only takes two seconds, man. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be sure to turn on that notification bell. And now let's get straight to the methods. Now, first, we're going to talk about what you guys need to do the method, and then we're going to talk about how to actually execute the method. All right, so what you guys need, number one, somebody who knows how to shoot, all right, somebody who can green their shots. Then what you guys need is nothing else. That's all you need, all right? So that's the most important thing, just somebody who knows how to shoot. All right, so now that you have what you need and you have somebody who can shoot, how do you actually do the method? Well, you guys already saw, we hit our first three, the AI's got the ball, but now we're gonna start it right from the top, boom. You make sure that there's an assist person for the whole game and a shooter for the whole game. The assist person passes it, sets the screen, and the shooter shoots. That's it. Now, something important to keep in mind, there will be times where somehow, some way, the shooter ends up having the ball in their hands and they don't end up shooting with enough time or in enough time to give the passer the assist. Like right here, I didn't shoot it. So we have to reset. Make sure you always reset if you don't shoot right away. Give the ball back to the passer or assister. Let them set the screen again and then you pull up and you shoot again. So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to not cut anything out, but just fast forward so you guys can get to the end so you can see all the benefits that come with doing this method. Now, some things I wanna explain while we fast forward. Uh, this is beneficial to two the two people who are playing because one, the assist person, like I mentioned earlier, is gonna get all the assists and they should come out with an A if they get all the assists that they can get. And then even the shooter is gonna get a lot of reps because they're the only one taking all the shots and you get a bonus for greening your shots on top of just making their shots. That's why having a good shooter is so important. So now that we've come past the fast forward part, some things that you wanna do to make sure that your bar actually goes up as much as it can, don't go into the event with a player that is higher than a 94 overall. For some reason, once you go in with a player that's higher than a 94 overall, you don't get as much rep as you could. So I know all of us wanna go in with that 99 overall player because I like to go in with the best player that I could have, but you actually get more rep if you do the event with a player who is a 94 or below. Now, I didn't go in with a 94 or below build i went in with a 99 so i didn't get as much rep as i could have got but i still got almost all of the bar done in just this one event and i shot seven for seven so if you want to go in with a new build and max out the shooting you can get badges that way but also imagine what i could have gotten if i would have been not an elite and if i would have been a 94 or below i could have got anywhere from 0 0.6 0 0.8 or even one percent every four to five minutes imagine you getting one percent in your bar every four to five minutes man so make sure y'all do everything that i mentioned in this video and you'll be all right until the next video i'm out